Hello and welcome to RTBU Express TV, I'm Emily Barker. The RTBU has reached an in-principal agreement with Horizon on their enterprise agreement. This follows a tough month of negotiations resulting in Horizon workers walking off the job to try and get Horizon management to listen. Instead of coming back to the negotiating table, the company retaliated by locking workers out. Finally, with assistance from the Fair Work Commission, an in-principle agreement was reached and the RTBU is now briefing members ahead of a full member ballot in April. The RTBU has been fighting the New South Wales Government's push to replace the single enterprise agreement for public sector rail workers with five separate ones. Through negotiations, we have managed to get the rail entities down to two agreements, one for New South Wales Trains and its employees, and one to cover Sydney Trains employees, which would also cover cleaning staff. The union will be consulting with members on the proposal over the coming weeks and encourages all members to attend the workplace meetings. The bus and tram division has been standing up against the sell-off of the North Sydney bus depot. The bus depot at North Sydney is the closest one to the city. So often it is the first point of call when emergency buses are needed on the other side of the bridge. The state government's plan to sell off the depot will mean commuters will have to wait longer on those all too frequent occasions when Sydney's public transport system breaks down and emergency buses are needed. New South Wales Opposition Leader John Robertson and a number of RTBU members and friends officially opened the RTBU's refurbished Newcastle office this month. The RTBU thanks all those who attended the Open Day and looks forward to seeing more members dropping in over the coming months. For more information on any of these stories, please go to the RTBU website.